going to try and go through quite quickly servicing a winch. It's not that difficult, not a lot to it really. Uh, this Alumar winch doesn't have, doesn't need any tools. I always have a screwdriver around. It's useful for some things like getting the top off it, which uh, is often, once it's been on there a while, a bit more than finger tight. Uh, I'll just put all the bits and pieces down here. So the top comes off, the uh, rope stripper comes off. Got a little tub with some white spirit just here. So we just put all the bits and pieces that we take off in there. If we can then lift the, the drum off. Now you've got to be careful as you lift it up because there are two bearings in there, which oh, sometimes stay on and sometimes get stuck inside and fall out as you're trying to move it somewhere. So I'll just put that over here on my bit of cardboard. All these can slip off. Got two lots of needle rotor bearings and various shims. Um, and this one you've got the, the spacer in between the two so just remember where they goes on, go on. Some of the bigger ones you have uh, three lots of needle rollers and just one spacer and that normally goes at the top so just sort of take a, a note of where they are. I mean, if you're in any doubt, then you could take a take a picture with your phone or something. Uh, this little uh, bit of plastic that goes on the bottom there has got a, a little chamfer in the bottom edge of it, so it has to go around that way. So just take, make a note of that. Once all those are out, there are two little collets in the top here. I put them in my white spirit. If it was really gunged up, I might want to soak it in some diesel. It's cheaper, um, or Terps, something like that, you, you could use as well. So now we take the gear stacks out. You've got two little pins in here. They're different sizes. You can't get it put put it back wrong. To be honest, it's uh, it's all made to be very easy. And then the gear stacks just slide out. Keep them all together for now. Put them down there. And the last thing to take out is the spindle here. So we put all that down, ready for cleaning. So as you can see, these bits here aren't too dirty. Uh, I do them every year, so it's just a, a matter of getting off the grease, which gets a bit thick sometimes. If they're if it's really baked on there uh, and they're, they're really cruddy, then you can soak them in diesel or, or something else. First of all, get the, the last, the tricky bit apart, which is, uh, is this uh, gear stack here. As you pull it, you'll see that there's two pawls inside uh, just here. And sometimes they get left inside, sometimes they come out with it. This one yeah, looks like it's just about going to come out with it. I'm going to hold it so it does. Because otherwise, what happens is the little spring that holds it just there will go flying. So we'll take that out. And the other side, which has stayed in, you can see here, to get, to get it out, put your finger underneath it, pull it up, and get your thumb over the top as you pull it out so that the spring can't go flying. So you've got, got it all in there. Actually, that's the only spares that I do carry for the winch. I've got up here some uh, some spare ones of these little springs because they can just go flying, and uh, you don't want to have a winch in pieces and uh, and not be able to put it back together because you haven't got one of those. So all these bits have come off. I'll stick them straight in some white spirit here. Give them a clean there, um, and yeah. So now basically it's a matter of just stripping it all down and going over everything. I'll do the same with that other gear stack and, and just giving it a scrub. I'll bring this around so we can see close up. It's just getting rid of any any grease that's on there because it is a bit gets a bit thick and, and horrible. I have a as well as the toothbrush a, a harder one for getting in the in the cogs. You can get sets of these um, uh, brushes from uh, Amazon where they do the, the, the plastic ones like this and copper ones and wire ones are quite useful. I find toothbrushes sometimes if it's really gunked up just aren't, aren't hard enough to get it. But yeah, you can go in. Clean it all up. So we'll do that with everything here. Same with the, the needle rollers. They all need cleaning. Um, if they're really bad, you can just pop them out. So I'll show you to the camera here. They, cut, they come out of the cage. So, I mean, if it was if in really bad nick, you might want to just take them all out and, uh, and soak them all, but this one's okay. So it'll just get a, a general scrub. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is that when I bought Fair Isle, I hadn't taken apart a Lumar winch before. So I looked online to see what was on there. And there were a few good uh, videos, but really mainly done by uh, 
professionals from Lumar themselves uh, with a new winch. But really you need to see a winch that's been used and, uh, and what sort of state it's in and what you're going to face and how to, to grease it back up again to do it properly. So for instance in the gear stack you can push out the little uh, plastic bearings that are in the middle. Uh, you need to have a look at those and, and clean those. On the bigger variant of this, so I've got a, um, a bigger sheet winch back there that has needle bearings inside, not, not plastic ones. Um, so obviously you can take them out and clean them as well, but you want to make sure that's really clean inside because you don't want any bits of grit in there wearing that, that bearing away. It's the only other thing really that you're going to have to change, um, hopefully, with your, with your winches. Um, the, the, the bearings like that which might wear if there's too much wear you'll, you'll find it because once they're in and you put the pin in there'll be a, a lot of play in the pin there's just a tiny bit in this is so that's fine but once that starts to get loose then you, you might want to change those uh, so once that's all done everything's clean uh, we can start just make sure everything's dried off and uh, properly clean it's all the mating surfaces don't forget to do the inside uh, of the the drum here, just the twos on the inside. We'll go around and do all of those. Um, and then once everything's clean, we we'll start putting it back together again. So with everything uh, cleaned and uh, degreased, it's just a matter of putting some fresh uh, winch grease back on everything. And basically, it's uh, it's just what you're looking for is just a, a thin film over every mating surface. Uh, apart from the bits in the middle of the gear stack, which we'll get to. So if we, uh, if we take this gear stack here, the smaller one of the two, um, first of all, we need to uh, put the pawls uh, inside. So re reinserting these is the other fiddly bit. So if we put it in front of this camera so we can see, the spring just goes in, hold it with your thumb so it's, it's down. Uh, and then you should be able to just slide it in straight into the socket like that. I'm going to do the other one, other side, same thing. So put it in, push it down, it slots in quite nicely. Once those are in, they just get a little bit of uh, thin, it's the same machine type oil. You get special uh, stuff for the pools on these if you want to buy that, but uh, it's just very thin thin oil, make sure that's nicely spread around. So that, they're the bits that are going to go in, in here and we don't want too much grease in that part. So um, I'll put just a, a tiny bit just around the surfaces, not on the poles themselves, tiny bit just inside here, just on the bit that it makes on the bottom, really not much in there at all. You don't want those getting gummed up and, and sticky. You want that to be sort of quite, quite loose. Uh, and then for the rest of it and everything else, every other mating surface on here, you can do a slightly thicker lump. You don't want any lumps. It's not. Uh, you don't. It's not. You're not pasting it on here. It's. It's. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty thin. We just don't have to be sort of as careful as the bits around where the pawls are. So we'll go around again every mating surface. Make sure you get everything. The pins. The inside of the the drum in in here. Might need some. Don't forget the uh, roller bearings here. So I'll, I'll do one of those just to show you all around the outside, on the inside, all the way around. It's just a thin coating, just like that, and that, that will be enough. And obviously the spindle post here as well. I uh, did show the cleaning of that, but do make sure that you, you get inside and clean it right in there as well as, as everything that you can see out here and just a thin layer of grease on that as well. So reassembly then just the reverse of uh, removal. So we put the spindle in first down as far enough to get to that line, a little groove in line with where the collets go. Put that in and the gear stacks. There, small one goes in here. So, so you can't get these the wrong way around because they uh, they have different size spindles and they just wouldn't wouldn't fit in the wrong way around. So the small one bizarrely goes in the big spindle. The big one 
and small, just jiggle them around so they go down, all the way down and seat it, you might have to push them with something, let's get that straight, so there's a little cut out in there. And next on is the, the little plastic washer on the bottom, which as I say has got a little chamfer which faces down because this is never a perfect right angle in there and you want that completely on the bottom. And one needle roller, spacer, second one. Then the rope stripper, making sure that uh, you've, you're putting it across where this little plastic bit is here. I haven't taken the rope stripper apart this time, I do sort of every other year. It's nothing much, it's just to get the dirt out of there, it's not something you need to, to grease. And then top bit on, I'm gonna a little bit more grease on here. There is a little seal on there, you can see a little sealing ring to make sure that this top surface has got a reasonable amount of grease on it. Let me screw that up, just hand tight. I might uh, tighten it a little bit more when I haven't got grease on my hands. You can't, you shouldn't use it, well, you can't use a tool on it, it's not configured to be able to get the tool in there to, to do it up, it shouldn't be more than hand tight. And that's it, one down, nine to go.